Author Cody Polston is a ghost story writer, known skeptic, and hitman for debunking haunted sites, appearing on numerous TV and radio shows. We're glad to have him here tonight to tell us more about his work and upcoming appearances during the Halloween season. Cody, thank you for joining me this evening to talk about, I mean, we're in October, it's the spooky yeah. speed season. It's fitting to have you on the show. So tell us, you've been writing ghost stories and paranormal for years. What was the draw for you? How did it begin? Well, I started, I made a ghost hunting team when I was in the military back in 1985. I Jeez. ended up here in New Mexico. Uh, so of course, it kind of followed me to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. I created the ghost tour in Old Town in the year 2000. And it's just the you know, thing with ghosts, you have that narrative. Why is it haunted? Which is history, and the history is fascinating. So I decided to write about that so I can go into the detail more than just you know, when you're doing the tour. It's a quick, oh, here it is, blah, blah, here's the spooky part, you know. So that's how, really how it started. I got addicted. So as, as you're feeling this addiction to ghosts, you're also a skeptic. So yeah. how does that work? <laughs> A lot of, that's a good question. <laughs> a lot of people get confused. Uh, I don't think people understand the entertainment value. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, I'm a horror movie geek, obviously Godzilla, right? Yep. <laughs> so I can watch a horror movie, say, like A Nightmare on Elm Street, mm -hmm. and I can know that Freddy Krueger isn't real, and I can enjoy it. But if we start talking about, what about the haunting on Elm Street? Yeah. Okay, now we're in a different book. And it's the same thing with ghost stories. I love them. I think they're great entertainment. It's fun. There's history. And get a little spooky yeah but when we talk about is it real i've been doing it a long time so i you know i actually have books written where i do debunk them sometimes it's, too. yes yes so. so i know that you've worked with tj trout on doing ghost hunts for 23 years long, is that right? long time long yes time. so what what have those been like and can you share with us like one instance where something Major Memor happened on one of them? Yes, okay. real memorable. Uh, the way that started, once I got the ghost tour going, it got media. So newspapers and on television. And mm -hmm. So TJ said, hey, would you like to come do this annual ghost hunt that we do on 94 Rock? Uh, still doing those today. In fact, uh, we're going out soon to do the one for this Thank year. Goodness. He's on KKOB now, though. Yes. Different, different thing. Um, the most memorable, actually, it's not spooky. No, it's not spooky at all. But it depends on your definition of spooky. Yeah, okay. We were in Santa Fe mm -hmm. at the old St. Vincent Hospital. It's the Jewelry Plaza Hotel now. Yes. So we, we showed up and all these lights are like, what's going on? Well, the lady that booked us said, oh, they're shooting a movie. But it's fine. You're in a different area. So you guys, it should be okay. So we went down. We were doing our thing. And there's just too many ghost hunters showed up for this one. Because TJ would buy dinner and people, hey, free meal, you know. <laughs> so... I sent them upstairs to the third floor to get them out of our hair. I said, check it out, let me know. So they went up there, and what happened was they were up there, and this entourage of people comes through. And one of the ghost hunters, a girl, she's eating Cheetos. Behind them comes Steven Seagal. He sees those Cheetos and oh, goes my. right into her face. Where'd you get those Cheetos? <laughs> and she's like, I bought them. <laughs> You better have. And he turns and walks away. Oh, my God. He comes down, passes me and Chi J, goes right into the craft room, counting his Cheetos. One, two, all right, that girl lives. Oh, my goodness. And you talk about just like, what? <laughs> Almost paranormal. But no one would mess with her after that. Like, dude, she stared down Steven Seagal. <laughs> so, Who knew that man loved Cheetos so much? <laughs> well, my you could God. tell in his later films. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But that's probably the most memorable thing. Well, we know that there's there's haunts that are coming up. So where can people learn more about your upcoming appearances, uh, books that may be coming out, or um, you know it, it, examples of what you do on an everyday it, basis? It's real easy. CodyPolston.com is my website. Mm -hmm. So everything's on there. Uh, you can spend hours on it. At the events specifically, I'm doing a lot with the Painted Lady Bed and the Brew in October. Just go to brewsandbooze.com and it has all my events coming up on there, as well as the other fun stuff like Scary Movie Bingo. If you never tried that, that's nice. fun. So, well, Cody, thank you for coming out tonight and giving us a little bit of history of what you do. And you're, you're definitely ready for the season. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out. Thank you. We'll be back.